Hello, Anson Griffin here with another YouTube tutorial featuring MATLAB. Today is the 3rd of April 2020 and this is video number 249. And we're using curl to obtain HTTP GET requests from ThingSpeak. So there are the two aims and if you're new to this, curl is a command line tool uh, to get data using URL syntax. I've already done a video about how to install curl. Hopefully it's still up. No, it isn't, but I'm just not going to go back. It's there and you will have that. So we're going to write a batch file. So how do we do that? I'm just going to shut them down. So how do you write the batch file? You hit the Windows key, type N-O-T-E, notepad, yep. Yeah. And I'm going to, you would write it in yourself, but I'm going to open uh, the text file that I've done already. So there's the commands. And the only thing that would differ here is there. Everything else is the same. And just to explain where that's coming from, there's my thing speak. I have four channels. One and four are public, two and three are private. I've opened number four. Number four is 1010816. Okay, it's public. So going back to here, you would pop in just a relevant um, channel number. And those, how do you get that character? Up arrow six or shift six would give you the carry. Carry there and you don't need it on the last line. Save as. And whatever it is, dot BAT, full stop BAT, with the caps lock on, don't need that. Okay, so it's important, whatever it is, full stop BAT, hit save. Like this already, do I want to replace it? Yeah, I do. Now, when you do it the first time, obviously, you wouldn't say you want to replace it because it'd be fresh. I think that's obvious. Now, we'd like to run that batch command, so... Windows key again, in there type run. And this gets us to objective two. We've done that, navigate your way around the folders. So if you, you have to remember where you install curl now. If you've seen my pretty previous video, I installed it on drive E. So how do I get the drive E? E colon. Where did I save it to? I made a directory called my curl. Just see what files are there. Yep, and I've just saved that one there. Uh, there it is, the 3rd of April uh, 2020, and I've just saved it at um, just that one there. Sorry, 11.21. Yeah, it's now 11.22. So, things speak public channel b.bat get that to execute how do you get it to execute just type the batch file name and once you get here the 200 okay you're fairly certain that everything is gone all right gives you all this stuff which doesn't really matter and then it gives the contents of that channel in here which looks a bit of a mess so if you copy paste if you highlight and select between the left brace and the right brace copy that and I have a JSON formatter here already so that's JSON formatter dot curious concept con just paste it in there, hit process, and there it's a more readable form. So JSON, I've skipped over, JavaScript object notation, it's just a way of showing stuff at the moment. And there they are, and that's a bit more believable. Okay, so I've done that and that and that. Now for a private channel, same as before, Shut that down. Start command key or Windows key. Uh, notepad. Now, 
open. Uh, there's my private channel. So there's the commands. Again, the only thing that matters here is that would be the channel number for the private channel. Excuse me. Yeah. Just go back to there. 101.08.07. This is private. And if I go along here, the API keys. Sorry, excuse me, just one second. <coughs> Sorry about that. And you see here, there's a, a write API key and a read API key. So you would highlight that. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. You would copy and paste the, the read API key. And you put that on my new line for there's dash dash data API key equals. So the API key, as to give you an idea, application program interface, it gives you permission. It's just saying you're letting the channel know that you're secure, you know what you're doing, etc. etc. So that's yeah. So we get the request. We're just saying the header is things API dot things be Close the connection just to finish with and then just to say you're okay by putting in that data API key. Save as, same as before, you have to put in the dot bat. Okay, I think it has to be lowercase. I'm not 100% sure, but Aaron decided caution has to be lowercase. Yeah, that's okay. Exit out of that. Uh, let's just do a little directory. Yeah, it's 11.26 now, so I would have just saved that. There's that, yeah, Tingsby private channel. So how do I get that to execute? Yeah, all good to go. 200 okay that's good don't mind that and then if you wanted you could copy and paste that into the json formatter there and but you know i didn't bother just go back to the powerpoint slide um so i've done the public and private channel json formatter i've done that and then you'd have my slides in class there's the thing for the the batch file oh by the way i f forgot to say cls which just cleared the screen so that's the batch file for the public channel and that's the batch file for the private channel okay so thanks very much for listening